Alright guys, today basically I'm going to be showing you guys my respawn classes. I have 10 classes here and it's basically for all respawns. That's meaning Blitz and Domination. I know some of you guys like have a Blitz and a S&D and a Dom, but I have 10 classes because you, you can purchase like 4 extra classes. So I literally have all 10 classes here. This is all I need. I don't really need anything extra. So basically I'm going to explain thoroughly like what why do I use this class and what can you use it for I'll try to give you guys some tips with my classes and maybe it'll help you guys out <clears throat> so basically to start off this is my main vector class now steady aim it's basically a factor it helps you win a lot of gunfights I feel like it also has your like uh, crosshair small so you can automatically already if you're gonna aim in your shots should hit easier so I think steady aim is a factor. You don't always need it, but if you're running a selfish class, definitely run steady aim. And now you got the vector. For you guys to know, the update wasn't for the vector. It was basically for all guns, meaning it takes longer. You shoot somebody in the head and then shoot somebody in the body. And still, it takes longer to kill them. But it wasn't for the vector. It was just in general for all guns. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. So meaning the vector is still good. It's still godlike. I think it's still better than MTAR. The only time MTAR... I think it's, it's like godlike is on host because I use MTAR and host and I was melting people. I was doing some crazy stuff and I've seen Scumpy and other people do really good with MTAR and host. So I think this host makes it a factor, but Vector definitely crazy gun. You can like turn corners and kill someone who's already pre you. It's insane. So this is my selfish class. I use this class a lot, but I like to use this class. Why? Because I have a stun and an aid. Now a stun and an aid helps a lot. You can like... You can nade in front of you, you can stun in front of you while capping the flag, you can stun a, a cut like someone's trying to cross to, you can help your teammates with just a stun and a nade. It helps so much and it helps you get kills without even being there, it helps your teammates basically clear out the map or spot someone. And then you notice on this one, sorry guys, my specialist, I have quick draw and sleight of hand. Now, <clears throat> seen through all my classes, you notice I either have sleight of hand or quick draw and maybe tack mass. And quick draw... It's insane on a sub, but you don't want to have it in your main perks because it's kind of too selfish and it's not going to help you win the map necessarily. You might win a couple more gunfights with it, but it's kind of too selfish. You want to be able to be fast and push out spawns and push out areas with a fast class sub. So I have it there. So if I get four kills in a row, I can get kills easier. And that sleight of hand also helps you reload. And there's a lot of situations where I'm pretty sure you guys have been in where you have to reload. And then so you basically just reload and you get the kill faster. And then this is like I was saying, a stun and aid class. This is my actually main vector class. I love using a stun and aid. It just helps out the team. It helps me get some extra kills. It helps me survive longer and help the team. And then I have tack mass because it's annoying getting stunned. Like I hate getting stunned, so I have a tack mass instead of quick draw. And then I have sleight of hand again. And then, as you guys know, I only have two specialists because. Once I hit 8 kills, it automatically gives me the bottom 4 specialists. So once I get 6 kills, I get sleight of hand. And if I get 2 more kills, I get all my other specialists. So you always want to have only 2 specialists. And then cancel the 3rd one out. And then put the other 4 in the bottom. <clears throat> I didn't put a specialist here. But this is my basically my fast class rush sub. It's MTAR with tag mass. This is when I'm getting stunned a lot. And even though the vector is broken right now. I still like to have at least one MTAR class. So basically, this is my fast class rush MTAR class. I have sleight of hand, like I said, and quick draw. It's opposite, but it doesn't really make a difference. I do like sleight of hand sometimes more than quick draw. And it takes one kill less to get it. So this is like, let's say I'm pushing out off spawn. You want to push something out where they pre-stun or you don't want to be stopped at all. You just use this class, attack mass. You can't be stopped. You're really fast. And then hopefully you just win the gunfight. Now this is my smoke and nade class with my MTAR. This class can be really good like in certain situations. Let's say Warhawk Blitz. When you spawn in Genocide and you want to push that left side. You want to push loading. You want to push your white truck to go around because that's the right way to push. You want to push that left side to go for caps. And then make them spawn American the right side all the way in that garage, like that parking lot corner. So you can easily like let's say there's people camping the loading. People camping the white truck. I have a smoke always with me. I can smoke out the white truck and just push without even getting shot at. And he's lost. I basically, I can make a play. I can do so many things with a smoke. And for even like better situations, let's say I'm able to push through loading. There's no one watching it at the moment. They're all off spawn. 
and then they're on the flag, I can easily just throw smoke on flag, and it's, it causes chaos. They're all worried, they're all concerned. You have someone like probably one of their teammates laying on the flag. I can easily just run to a flag, maybe knife the guy on the flag, and just get a cap. So having the smoke is really good. And then a nade is the same thing. Let's say there's a guy back, white truck. I can nade him off, or I can nade the spawn, the, the flag, if they're all camping nade while I smoke it. So having these two things just helps me in like Warhawk Blitz, but I'll, it, it can be for any map, honestly. Like, let's say uh, Fright, when you want to smoke B and hop it, it just it's a good class to have as a flash class. And then I have ICU. I mean, ICU is not that effective for specialists, but I think it can help here and there. And since I'm rushing around and being reckless, I just decided to put that in the attack mask. <clears throat> now, this is my fast AR class. Always use red dot muzzle break. I know some of you like grip. I know some pros like grip, but I'm pretty sure 90% of pros do not use grip. They love muzzle break. Uh, muzzle break is like grip is not really necessary. You can easily aim down your sight and just tap your shot from really far and you kill them like in two, three bullets. I'm um, so like grip is not necessary. Always use muzzle break with an AR, with a Remington. Then for you guys to know, a pistol is basically lightweight, which is... Um, let's see, what's agility? There we go. A pistol is basically agility. So it's saying like, when I take out my pistol, I have marathon light, I have marathon agility, and quick draw. So this is why it's called a fast class AR, because you kind of run faster without like, it's like basically running with a sub. If if I take out my pistol, so it's like if I'm running once I take out my pistol, it looks like I'm running agility and marathon. And then whenever I want, like let's say I get to a part spot really fast, I just pull out my AR and I have quick draw and ready up, which helps a lot. So this is basically my fast class AR, like off spawn or when I want to be really aggressive. And it can also be used as search. I have it as, in my search classes, but I'll talk about that tomorrow. But I could get to like par spots really fast. I'm really mobile. I can go anywhere. I can get to par spots. I can cut lanes really fast. This is like a, I'm not slow like a turtle with like a, that's I have flag jacket double nades. So I just get to cut off areas and go really fast anywhere I want. And then I have sleight of hand. I love sleight of hand. And then uh, agility because I, don't, I won't have to really take off my pistol. I mean, I can still do it because I think you run a little bit faster. But I just have agility. And then, you know, the bottom four, just an extra bonus. Now, this is my vector with my trophy uh, nade reflex. This usually... usually used to be actually an mtar class and i switched it out as soon as the update i said i got tired of this i literally have like two three mtar classes at most and they're all the rest are vectors because the vector is broken i'm not gonna repeat it again the vector is broken so this is basically a basic reflex class a lot of you know that to put down a trophy takes really long and this is a reflex class you can put down a trophy as fast like extremely fast as like a second and then if you can easy you can always make plays with the snade because the nade gets thrown a lot faster so you can like, you can pinch people with your nade, you can like corner them, you can do a lot of stuff. So this is a really good situational class. It's really good to have. Um, I don't use it often anymore because I'm like more of a slayer, selfish, objective player. And I don't like running this because I feel really slow. I love always having a fast class. Like I told you, I love using a fast class with a stun and a nade. But this is a good situational class, especially if they're using a lot of stuns and nades and then I'll pull it out. And then, since I have Reflex here, I didn't really do the Specialist thing. I mean, I could have took out C ICU, but I just I just put stacked all the perks for Specialist. Obviously, it takes 11 kills now instead of 8 to get all my Specialists, but, you know, it's a, lot, it's a lot more perks. Now, this is my insane double nade, double stun class. Now, you see, like, I don't have Ready Up, so that's the first thing you want to always do. If you're using a class without Ready Up, which is... You shouldn't be unless like it's a situational class where you pull it out because it's going to help you in the moment. But I have ready up and as soon as I get two kills, I get ready up and it's that easy. So it's not that bad. And then since I'm using like reflex double nade stuns, this is the same example. I have a lot of perks like steady aim, tack mess, agility, marathon, blast shield. I have all these stuff because I'm missing so many perks from adding all these other stuff like all these random like reflex double nades. This is a good class to use. Mainly in freight dom, you know when they hop flags, they always hop it. They plant, maybe they plant a trophy or whatnot. You have double stuns, double nades. This they don't even need to hop it, but you can as soon as you have like two flags. I know it's kind of gay. Uh, they actually they were planning to ban double nades and double stuns. So this class, 
might uh obviously you wouldn't be able to use it anymore but that's just a heads up i can still tell you about the class you guys might want to use it for fun i don't know so this is a double nade double stun class like i said off spawn you can throw you can bank stuns off corners like top white or if you're in opposite spawn like top owens you can just bank stuns you can stun them off spawn you can pre-nade stuff and then if they're all hopping b you can throw two stuns break the trophy throw two nades usually get a kill or two kills off b and you have reflex so you're like just chucking nades and stuns extremely fast extremely fast like all that's gone in like three seconds so your four your four tacticals and lethals and then you have the vector with the double smoke now this is also a freight class uh you don't have to use it for freight you can actually use this in octane dom for the b flag but this is basically a freight class for domination that's a Let's say you, they ha they're two capping you and you're down by like 20, 30 points and it's getting pretty extreme. Like, you know, you're going to lose if you don't make a play, if you don't do something now. What I like to do, and I actually have some gameplay, you might have seen it before, that I double smoke B. I usually go on t all the way on top of the train. It's a good spot, but I hopefully, like, you need to have some smoke covering you if not, they can still see you. And then I just sit there and it caps and it, I try to neutralize the flag. If they rush me, I try to win the gunfights. It's really good. It's hard to execute. Like you need to know your angles and where they're coming from and how to react if they're on you. So it takes time to like kind of learn to master. I'm not saying it takes that much skill, but this is basically a good class. You know, if you need the points right away, or or you can just simply say like, "Hey teammate, uh, let's hop B," and then you double smoke it. Your teammate, you hop B. It takes to neutralize like three, four seconds. No, I think like 2.53 seconds to neutralize the flag. So you automatically neutralize it. And then you just work it from there. Now, this is my <coughs> MTAR stun class. I don't even know why I have MTAR. You know what? I'll do that later. But that should be a vector. Because this is kind of useless to have MTAR. But this is my MTAR stun class. It's a double stun class, fast class. Light of hand, quick draw, like I said. Usually I have quick draw, slide of hand. And... This is, you know, a lot of people like running selfish classes. Like, they don't run attack mass. They don't, they don't run sudden aids. They basically run a complete selfish class with steady game, lightweight marathon, blah, 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 and just run around. And this is kind of to counter it. And it basically, it's like, let's say there, there's three people on your team running steady game, lightweight marathon, and you just keep stunning them. All those stuns, it's huge. You slow them down on the map. You make them. You can help your teammates from not dying. You can like. It's basically really good. So this is kind of to counter that. But I think the meta's starting to change a little bit now. A lot of people are using less selfish classes, so it's not as effective. But if it comes down to it, you can still use this class if you think your teammates aren't running tactical. You can like watch the kill cam. You can see the enemies. Like you watch the kill cam to see what perks they're running. They're not running tactical. Oh hey, let me pull out double stunts. I'll help you guys out. <clears throat> and then this is my last class, which is basically the same thing as a vector, but it's just it's iron sight, basically grip and muzzle break. <clears throat> now I wouldn't recommend this. Some people can use this. I consider this more of a rush class. If you're gonna like hit fire and rush something. Like, maybe off break or something like that. But red dot and grip is definitely the way to go. Maybe If you can really control your shot and you have a good shot, red dot and muzzle break is also pretty good. I prefer grip. Some pros prefer grip. Some pros prefer muzzle break. I think grip is really good. But, yeah, this is basically the same thing. The only difference that is, is an iron sight, but you also have grip and muzzle break. So, you have them both. <clears throat> and like I said, uh, red dot is way more accurate accurate uh like when the iron sight on this gun it's not bad but red dot is way better so like this is more of a rush class like i said you can see i have quick draw sleight of hand again and then my other four specialists i wouldn't really recommend this class unless you're rushing something off break then you can use it some people might actually like the iron sight more so it's up to you guys so yeah guys these are my 10 classes my respawn classes for domination blitz and i hope you guys like the video Please put a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, and share it. I will be doing SD classes next. Oh, look, I got some people in my lobby. I'll do SD classes next. I'll be I'll be doing that tomorrow. This is basically an update since the patch on July 1st. And do SD classes tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you guys learned some stuff, some new stuff. Peace.